Superstar. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I'm gonna turn it up a little more. There you go. Yeah. Catch me on a kickback. Say she want a kickback. Well, homie, where you cash at? I guess she ain't about that. Chris Paul, how I pass that? Uppercut him, yeah, there you go. Mind gone, going off like a ticking time bomb. Talking money, man, that long, ayy. Pull you riding solo to the telly, baby, yeah, here we go. And she's so cold, ice froze, seeing space, got a lot more. Talking about grass, oh boy, I got a lot more. And I'm so gone. Guess I got a kickback. Roll up, gotta hit that. On my mind, gotta get that. When I kick back, lean back, do you feel my impact? Playing all these toe tags. You a turtle in the race, paparazzi taking pics. No, no Kodak. The way I'm living life, feeling like time lapse. Now your bitch wanna Skype back. She can't even get a Snapchat. Higher than most to fly for a jetpack. For the lifestyle, living like I'm great gas for a party on the weekend. When I check the rollie, what a time that matter of fact. Blunts like, like, whoa. like, whoa. Man, it's hot up in the AA13 Silent Boy Big Show. We go. Came back, had a kickback, like a kickstand. Yeah, we party on the weekend. weekend. Young and National and Jay Mick. We ballin' for your season. season. Sorry for the leaving. leaving. So sorry, I was leaning. leaning. Bounce back, that's a reason. Silent Boy LFTD. Yeah, we leading. Yeah. It's coming like no treason And I kick back while she do it, got a leak in She said a man is gone for the weekend He's sleeping, she creeping, now we freaking Cannonball in the deep end Baby in and out of evenings It's me who she's seeking Loud back, yeah we reeking Bring it back, got a kick back No off days, no relax Just like a relapse, try not to go back Straight off the charts, no zigzag Gotta roll up, gotta pass that, gotta pull up, gotta have that. Got XOs, no tic tac, got a poker face, no blackjack. Had a joker face, no Batman. Man, I'm too high, like the ceiling fan. We some Martians, silent aliens. Catch me ballin' out the stadium. And my mind gone, with my cranium. She off the dope smoke, she like, oh, whoa. <laughs> She like, oh, whoa, oh, she like, oh, whoa, she like, oh, no, oh, no. man, it's L -L -T -D. L -L -T -D. uh oh, whoa, 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 North Carolina, Iowa, Ohio, Oklahoma, California, and Virginia. This is League One NCAA football.
This is League One NCAA football. What's up, everybody? Silent Gaming coming to you here live today, bringing you some League One action to start the day earlier in, in this day. Obviously, this is um, an earlier stream for <clears throat> for what I normally do, but um, with uh, NCAA on the Dynasty League, sometimes I, I got to I gotta mix things up a little bit, kind of veer off my normal planned schedule time to stream. And, of course, like I've mentioned before in previous streams, uh, we're, going, we're doing a late-night stream tonight. Uh, Cold War comes out tonight, obviously at midnight. So, oh, smack my night. Hope to see you guys later tonight for that. Uh, probably going to play some custom Warzone to start that night, or to start the night tonight early to kind of get warmed up and stuff playing earlier. And obviously at midnight, we'll be switching over to Cold War. But hey, that's tonight. Right now, we're going to focus on what's going down here tonight, what's happening right now here. Duke, Florida State, Duke. Uh, coming back home after a disappointing loss on the road at Washington last week. Um, lost a heartbreaker. Washington drove down the field, ran all the clock out, kicked a field goal with no time left to win by three, 27-24. And, of course, week one uh, against West Virginia, lost that one 31-27. Yes, 31-27. I think West Virginia scored a touchdown with little time left. Pretty much no time left. So Duke, the last two weeks, has lost the game at the very end. It has been just absolute heartbreakers for this Duke team. Um, so hoping, Duke coming out here hoping to rebound and try to, um, you know, not try to finish this game out. But it's it's not going to be easy uh, taking on Florida, the Florida State Seminoles. Coach Short, 1-1 one one so far um, in the two years we've been here at Duke. Uh, lost, got smacked the first year, and last year, I believe this was the first game of the Duke season, uh, played Florida State. I think we played week two. We were off week one, week two, played Florida State. And um, try, so trying to get a winning uh, edge over Florida State. The Cornsfield, as we like to call it, the official, since this is a televised game for League One, the Cornfield, not Corns, Cornfield Sportsbook. Official sportsbook of League One has Duke as a seven and a half point favorite in this game. So we'll see what happens in this game. Uh, but you see the numbers there in front of you. Uh, Florida State's coming in here with the 60th ranked offense in scoring, 27 points on offense, 459 total yards, giving them the 36th offense in total yardage, 55th pass, 31st rushing. Uh, it's a pretty balanced attack, 219 passing, 240 rushing. Um, so it does look as though Florida State does like to run the ball a lot. So we'll see if we can try to contain that as best as we possibly can. But Duke has given up 152 yards a game, and these are against users. And it is difficult to get a good running game against um, in most user user games. <clears throat> so we'll see what Duke can do. And defensively, Florida State so far looking really scary in their one game they played. Obviously, their numbers are based off of one game. They won 27-10. to 10. Uh, But that 10 points, giving them the ninth best defense in points allowed, second best in total yardage. The number one passing offense their first game only allowed 43 passing yards and gave them 122 on the ground. 
Duke playing in their first or in their first two games have averaged twenty five and a half points a game, giving them sixty eight scoring offense, two hundred and ninety eight total yards on offense, two hundred eleven passing, eighty seven rushing. Defensively, giving up twenty nine points, give the sixty eighth best uh, scoring defense or a lot points allowed defense, three hundred fifty seven yards, fifty six, two hundred four in the air, one hundred and fifty two. On the ground, here's the top players for the Duke Blue Devils. Obviously, returning senior quarterback Drew White playing in his last year here at Duke. Uh, Kimbrough, also a senior at outside linebacker, and Chris Kane, also seniors. All three of these guys, seniors, been here the entire time of my career here at Duke. Yes, do the Blue Devils are undefeated in ACC play with that 0 0 record, and they're hoping that after today they can continue to stay undefeated. And here you see the top players, Florida, Florida State Seminoles. So without further ado, we will go ahead and make our way down to the field. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Wade Stadium in Durham, North Carolina. The landscape's as full of life as the crowd is for this game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, Duke. has elected to kick off. We'll get the ball to start the second half. So, Florida State will go on offense to start this game. For the opening kickoff, so here we go. That's Dallas Boot has it lined up and he kicks it. And this game is underway. See what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Oh my gosh. And what a start to this game. Touchdown, Seminole. <laughs> oh man. What a start. Time he touches the ball, he's capable of tearing one off like that. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. That that was something else right there. Ranked number 10 in the land and for Florida, they continue their winning ways. And for Spurlock, seemingly wide open all day. More than 250 yards receiving. The Gators win it 34 27. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. Oh, 86. <clears throat> Didn't even block. Sometimes you get it home and you get a little bit too fired up at the beginning of the game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. And he's 
I'm excited to see what Barry Sanders Jr. can do against the CPU team because it is tough to run against users. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, what he can do now facing off against a computer-led team. It's second and eight. Ball on the 20. Oh, I pitched that too early. That's my fault. Pitched that way too early. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before. I had all that room. I just kind of jumped the gun there. It'll be all right. We got it's a long game. From their own. <clears throat> Empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. Duke's Dang it, White. Statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. Dang it, dude. He was wide open. He just totally missed that throw. Smith is I, mean, I hate when you miss throws like that because there's please flint Pete fleet uh feet was planted. No pressure, really. Like, there's no reason to miss that throw. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Florida State is up by a touchdown. There we go. Sack, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we definitely got to find. We made some changes in League One. We had something that we did. You guys saw it. You take that defensive end outside, you move him a little bit, and you can make a quick move in. And it kind of would freeze up the lineman you can get right in. So we've had to find new ways to find way to get pressure. He gets rid of this one. There we go, baby. Big time down down here. Big time down right here. Tackle him. Do not let him get a first down. Holy crap. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. Baby, there it is. The hurricane out of way defense. Perfect connection and a touchdown. Miami has the edge seven nothing. Thanks, Reese. Seven oh game here. There we go, defense. Good stand. Almost skirted up. <laughs> you never like to have to play but from behind, but got him to that got him to that fourth and one and they just need to go out there force him to kick a long field goal. There we go, baby. There you go, White. So he keeps it and he gets a big There you go. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First 
down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Good feedback. Uh -huh. Is it any better now? Let me know. Let me know if it sounds better. If the mic sound is better. Okay, there we go. From the 40-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw to the tight end, and down he goes. There you go, Wes. 39-yard line. All right, boys. Here we go. Big conversion right here. Oh my goodness! This whole army was just obliterating somebody. Oh, Orlando, why'd you stop? Why'd you? Why didn't you keep going? Oh, Randall. Dang, Randall. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good. Reese Davis joins us in the there you studio go. with this update. Reese, wait for Dang. <clears throat> I don't know why Randall stopped this route if he'd have kept going. Probably could have snuck her up there and got the first. Okay, Wake Forest. Let's see if they can hang the whole in the whole game the game the whole time. Ready to get things going again. Florida State is up four. They'll run it. Nice run there as they work the outside. Do they? So I was just told Wake Forest, if any of you guys are not paying attention to the chat, Wake Forest has a history in League One. Of producing really good wide receivers. Second and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. Here we go, defense. There we go, defense. Come on, baby. Solomon who's getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. Sherman. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Then you got beat, son. Ah, oh, crap. First down. Positive yardage. 
second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Florida State holds a four-point lead. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Oh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Ball on the 30 yard line. Yeah, I didn't pick it. Brown play. Inside the 10. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown, Florida State. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that makes a good point. You shouldn't have good receivers if you're always trailing. this young player into their passing attack and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball he splits the uprights with the extra point a six play 75 yard drive and they come away with seven points the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Jordan from the three dude that's both kickoffs you guys are completely missing that guy with great speed and they're not giving up big plays that's why they're playing well up to this point it's not quite a blowout but unless they do something here it might turn into one runs right for a nice game Second and six. Ball on the 23 yard line. Five wide. Quick throw. He's knocked out of There we go. There we go. He is such a reliable target. Yeah, I think um some somebody who's game somebody who already played, I believe I saw Auburn ended up completely dominating Georgia. I think I'm pretty sure. If they already were dominating, I'm pretty sure. Whenever whoever it was that playing, I looked and the final score, uh, Auburn just like it's like forty something to fourteen. I don't know something big. Uh oh, is that FCS scoring first? Number nineteen, Ohio. Oh, it was FCS who Army beat? Okay. I saw it so quickly, I only saw Army. I didn't see who they actually were playing. So, I didn't know. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. He's brought down in the open field. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Probably going to be the last play of the first quarter. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. What a play. That'll bring an end to the first quarter of Holy crap. Down at the 48. Where in 
bait, which is all over that. That's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions. I mean, look at two guys flying in there. Jeez Louise, man. They had that one freaking. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. the stop at about the 37 yard line well they get all ah. yards, but come up just shy of the first good play call almost perfect execution except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down they call on the kicker for a long field goal it's up and he nails the long field goal there's a 52 yarder and a 54 yarder. This guy, Das Boo. Oh, NC State. Come on. Represent the ACC better than that. <laughs> okay, Boomer. I know, and he's a freshman redshirt. This is his first year up here, so we got the freshman redshirt out here already hitting 52, 54 yarders. Yes, sir. In a game that's this close, you can't Dang it. I thought I clicked it. Florida State is up by eight. Yeah, I totally bit to that freaking... Give him over a hundred yards already. What yes, like hundred yard rusher. Allowing the play to take already before he makes his move. That shows vision and maturity. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-eight yard line. Oh, thank goodness, Bo. All right, come on, y'all. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. What a pass. Oh my gosh. I don't think he had a foot in. But I don't want to waste time out to try to find out. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. Forward to Had a good tackle. Good tackle. On the yard. Take that. Come on, boys. Need to try to hold him to a field goal here. Oh, my goodness. He hasn't scrambled at all, so. Oh, no, no, no. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. Florida State up by eight. Caught out of the open. Got Sherman. At about the 13. Dude, he's getting toasted this game. I just want to apologize to everybody in the league. 
because right now I'm feeling if I can pull this one out, if I can somehow win this game, it will not be by more than seven and a half points. <laughs> that, that took that took two. That's like, take that man down. There we go. Oh, there goes Sherm. Gosh, that would have been huge. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Florida State is hoping to make this a two score game. Man, he gets it up. And it's really a great one. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Yeah, thanks for the follow. This one's been entertaining us all day long. Okay, look at, look at Wake Forest. their way into the end zone on the ground. Look at Wake Forest. I don't know if this Wake Forest is getting better or if Miami's getting worse. Miami has been the team so far for us in the ACC that's had a phenomenal roster and just can't like put together a like really good year. Ease, Louise, man. We can't find any holes in there right now. Pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Next year, this place will work so much better because I have a way better fullback in that 45 spot. He just, he's redshirt. He's a freshman, so... Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 21. He's out to the 30, and he holds that one in. And down he goes, right around the 34. Saw that safety blitz coming. I like that coverage. I thought I might have been able to take a shot. Thought it was possible. <clears throat> so he didn't have any safety help over top, so I was hoping that maybe Kane could, you know, beat him off the line and I could get a good, decent game, but... <clears throat> He's 0 for 3 on third downs. Now he tries to buy some time. 
Out of the way, Randall. Dude, he was burning his man. And then right there when they all crossed, something bumped him back. Look at him. You see how much he beat him? And then right there, my own guy. Dang it, man. My own player slowed him up. No! Hey, you gotta ha help hate it when your own team messes you up. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. They get nice yardage on that run. There we go. I'm going to get you going, Barry, I swear. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Linebackers are killing me. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Wide out makes the first down catch. Brought down at the 32. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Got to pick it up. Uh, just a hair, not too much, but a little bit. See what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he hits him hard at the 39 yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds and those are Dude, holy crap. Just straight in. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Look at these sacks killing us. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They come out in a five wide set. Scrambling around, and he throws it away. Gosh, damn it, dude. We can't freaking. We get to this this point on the field, and we just can't. We're 54, 52, 54, and now we're trying 56. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Holy crap, man! 52 yarder, 54 yarder, and a 56 yard field goal. Okay, boomer.
46 yard line. First down. Zips it to the tight end. And they push him out right around the 40. Throws a laser across the middle. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He gets rid of this one. three-yard line second down the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation he's under pressure damn it dude they are getting it like they just have, they have really good defense trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him he's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. He's taken down at the 21. Stop at the 13 yard line. The Blue Devils. Oh man, come on. Oh my gosh. Basically only have time for one like and if I get I can't take a sack. I mean one yard to the goal line. He's scrambling. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Ah, uh, all right. Basically, I got five seconds. I, at this point, I'm looking for Davis. If he's not immediately open, I'm just rolling and throwing out. There it is, baby. Holy crap. 
that was risky because I could have possibly not gotten any points. Oh. Holy, sometimes stupid works. I know, right? <laughs> Glad to have you with but cheese, oh, Pete, man. I basically, on that last play, decided I'm going with Davis because I, it needs to be a quick slant. It's got to be quick. It had to be an instant. If he was not immediately open, I was just running out, throwing it away. With the pass of two seconds left, more than likely throw it away, it would have had two a second as well, or one. So, uh, I mean, I would have I would have been way more – if I had a timeout – I just try to run it one time and try to score, and if it didn't work, kick it. But I really wanted to build off of getting that interception. I really wanted to touch that. I know, like, you know, even a field goal would have put us at 12. We're still down five. We get the ball halftime, so we could go to score, take the lead. But it was just the way that like, I, I really wanted to touch that. I really wanted to build that momentum there. Um, so now, you know, we have the, the interception. And now the the touchdown to take us into halftime. So I'm hoping that this just we come out here and we just light it up, like just really build off of that. Um, so here's the halftime stats. That's true. It could led to a, a something could could have led to that, which it almost did. Had I not pre that we always talk about not predetermining, but had I not predetermined, I was going there and waited the second it would have thrown it right into the middle linebacker. So I did purposely try to throw it. I did use my stick to try to throw it behind him because I didn't want it to be led and go right to the middle linebacker. And I think that's what helped it go um, a little bit behind there to where he kind of stopped, reached back to catch it. And that's why having that catching on conservative also helps because uh, if you don't, there's a good chance that would have been dropped. But here we go. Halftime stats. Obviously, score 17-16. Florida State with a one-point lead. First downs, Florida State to six. Duke's, Duke's nine. 221 total offensive yards for the, the Seminoles. 156 for the Devils. 113 yards on the ground for Florida State. 34 for Duke. 122 passing yards. 108 for the Seminoles. So like we said before the game started, uh, Florida State very balanced. I mean, I could not – that couldn't be more balanced. Nine carries one for 113 yards, 10 passes – or six completed, but 10 passing plays for 108. So they are completely balanced right now. Um, there, There's – it's just a complete balanced attack. Um, Duke right now, the only success we've had it, it's has been passing. Obviously, we've had the ball. We've done a lot more plays. We have th 22 passing attempts already, 13 rushing attempts – so that would give us um, 35 plays to Florida State's 15. So we've already almost doubled their play calls, um, but yet they have more offensive yards because they've we've been giving up a lot more bigger plays. Uh, but third down conversions, Florida State's one for three, Duke four for eight. We started off 0 for three, turn around and have gone four for five. So a lot better uh, second push, I guess, or second second quarter, or you know attempts. Uh, there, we need to get Florida State in more third down situations and continue that third down conversion rate. Keep them at a lower. I, mean, I love being having teams under fifty percent. Um, and uh, red zone, they've only Florida State's only been in the red zone once. The other score was big. The other score has been big plays, and the one time in the red zone, Duke's defense stiffened up, held to a field goal. So that's good news to see. If we can eliminate big plays, um, we're in a pretty good position because. They've, the only time they've been in the red zone, held them to a field goal. So, you know, I'll take things like that all day. Turnover ratio is obviously plus one for Duke. Duke, so far, no turnovers in Florida State. The quarterback threw a pass he should not have thrown, and we're able to get to that and get the interception. That's the one and only interception. Duke with the one and only punt. And the time of possession, as you see, is doubles for the Duke Blue Devils. So that has been the halftime show. Let's get ready for the second half.
taken down at the 24. That's true. I could just take the penalty. I don't get the runoff, so that's good. Good point. Very good points. This does not take an aspect of real life situations where if I'd have thrown into intentional grounding, if I'd have stand by immediately could throw away, I'd have taken intentional grounding, I would have lost it down, which would have been fine for me, and went back, which we see my kicker has hit deep ones, so that'd have been fine, but wouldn't have gotten a ten second run out, so essentially it'd have been okay. Ooh. Man, Randall. If Randall could have had that block. Ooh -wee. Anybody else that's watching? Good point right there. Very, very good point. In those situations, I could have just thrown it away. And did you see SMU only beat FCS by five? I'm pretty sure Coach Six Gun Ninja would have absolutely loved for SMU to lose that one. Tackle made around the 32 yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. Situation here. It's third that's like that's third and a long one. <laughs> so we convert, baby. There you go, Terrence. I text my mom back. My little brother came, decided to stay the night at my apartment with me, and mainly because my parents have cleaning people that come, and he they ha he has to get up and get out of his room early, so he didn't really care to do that. That Dwayne Kennedy guy is good. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Woo! That one's going to be picked off. And him pulling him away, I actually should throw it to my tight end. And my tight end pretty much became wide open from it. Oh, were they? Iowa. Iowa. Ohio's losing 14 nothing to FCS West. This would be the first time we've seen FCS knock down some uh, opponents. Oklahoma lost two straight home games to FCS last season. And he's taken down right around the 38 yard line. Wait, that's not 
from the 38-yard line. It's second down. Caught open field. And he's level at the 24-yard line. There you go, Jeremy. That's a JUCO guy from season 17 recruiting class. He was redshirted last year. The junior redshirt. Hopefully to come make a difference for this team. This is the ninth play of this drive. Yeah, turned around and made it to the big team. No big deal. Lost to two FCS teams. Still makes it a Big 12 championship. Fires complete over the middle. He's tackled around the 20 yard line. No big deal. Play number 10 on the drive. Ah, oh, dang, my own guys again. the 11th play of the drive. There you go, Barry. The freshman red shirt. Ooh, Iowa, Iowa State playing this week. That looks to be a good one. Miami's kind of taking over. They score again, go at 21. Come on, boys. Let's punch it in here. Good drive there. Good drive there. All right, defense. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do, defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 30. I thought I said focus on the pitch, man. Why are y'all going to the quarterback? What the hell y'all doing? First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. He has some room. He's knocked out of bounds. Dang it. At the 48.
from their own 48-yard line. First down. He delivers. Oh, my gosh. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. Holy crap, dude. What were you doing? First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And they make the stop at the 25 yard line. Dang it. From the 25 yard line. First down. Brought down at the 10. I, know, I shouldn't have called that defense. I just had a feeling they're calling it, but they're just going to run it still. All right, defense, come on now. Toughen up, toughen up. I want it to end in a field goal. What are you talking about? I want to end in the field goal. And he's tackled around the eight yard line. Two more plays, defense. Two more. And it carries the ball for a nice game. Oh, I think that's going to be it, though, for the first or third quarter. Yep. Fourth quarter, baby. Those fourths up. Can Duke finish a game? Can we do it? Can we finish a game? Question of the day. Well, this final few minutes. Dang it! That was a big, big score, and it makes it a one possession game, but we still got a lot of football left. I don't know why I ran that defense. Let the middle wide open. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. All right, can we block? Taken from the three nope. <laughs> all three guys came in unblocked. Both teams are kind of Holy crap. Take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. And now he pitches it. Tackled after a decent pitch. No! <laughs> I saw that space and I was hoping. Look at it. You see how I pitch it and he just takes off after my guy. I won't bear to break a big one. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The halfback picks up a yard, and 
he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. There you go, Barry. From their own 31 yard line, it's first down. Oh my gosh. I missed him. Way, way could have way bigger play. Way bigger play. Hey, first down. You can't be upset. Still got the first down. Of course you get mad when you're like, dang, dude, I missed something big. I mean not too big, but I would have got more yards of it. Still got a first. Um, And I fucked that up. Damn it, dude. Hesitated. Oh, that can be big. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Scrambling around. Here they come. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. Shit. Down now, and they need to get it inside the forty nine. And he's tackled right away. Oh, my gosh, gotta wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. Fuck! Certainly they don't have the return on here. And for Graham, putting up good numbers. <laughs> You're right, Brad. And this guy's kind of the spark plug of this offense. And right now he's got him firing on all cylinders. Seems like every single time he touches the football, something big happens for this offense. If I were the offensive coordinator, I would continue to find unique ways to get the football in his hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Florida State with a one-point lead. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! And that's why you put the ball. What is he thinking? Let's go. Trust your defense. Put faith in them. Let's go, Clay. Oh my gosh! 
Barry. That nearly cost them. They're very fortunate. Holy crap, dude. Late in a game like this, the number one thing is taking care of the football. Dude, you <laughs> almost just. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game first and goal from the four they're knocking on the door So the offense is going to go for two. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They got it. A short three play, 20 yard drive, and they add eight points to their. There we go, baby. So the score now, 31 24. Woo! Let's go. of a young quarterback how does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive and we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out i would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more and down he goes around the 35 yard line So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Run there as they work the outside. Dang it, man. Let's see how much, how much of running the ball y'all gonna do. From their own 43 yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Nice A QB draw. I mean, are they going to just let the clock run out? I, I'm really confused on what their motive is here. Short yardage. Six. Time you can move the ball like 
Won't be surprised if he finishes with over 200 yards. I mean, I think they've ran it almost every play. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. The Seminoles are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. From the 34-yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. I was there. I should have had that one again. Dang it. Taken down at the 18 yard line. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's under some heat. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to... I'm, I'm trying to bait him. I'm trying to bait him in those throws. To ...make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They're not fully set that they're going to run it. Guys got to make tackles. The Seminoles call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And they'll look to control. Wow. Oh, good play though, defense. Dang. Oh, man, if you would have picked that, he's he's going. He straight up just runs over two guys. Oh, wow, what an upset. Number 19, Ohio, gets beat by FCS 24-17. Unbelievable. Hey, we need to be smart here. Jordan, if there's any ever – and whole kickoff team, return team. If there's ever time I need you guys to block, do it here. We know Dots Boot – can get us a deep field goal, so we only need to get to like the 35. So come on. Not quite. All right, we have all three timeouts. All we need to do is get a field goal. possession game and poise is what it's all about here who's gonna have it and who won't they come out in a five wide set why won't you make that pro that is that is twice this game it's been wide open and you just miss it come on white I need you to be getting that
They come out on an empty backfield. He's under pressure. Just throws this one away. X is open across the middle, but getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. At getting pressure, I don't have time to throw that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's scrambling, and he throws it away. Dang, dude. I Come on! They have no time. They're getting in, like, immediately. Duke's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. He's under pressure. No, and now we're going to give him the fucking ball back. Football game, and now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Unbelievable! Can't do anything. There's no blocking at all. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Signals for a fair catch. Now let's just don't miss a bunch of tackles and then break some freaking long run here. fourth quarter tie football game an important game for both these teams and this is where you find out who your leaders are we're going to overtime dang it man they could have won that game in the right there we could have just put something together so it looks like four quarters wasn't enough <sighs> All right, boys. OT. After this, not a bad little play. Take it home. Yeah, it's a nice job by the coach reading the coach uh, and delivering a very catchable ball. Uh, I nice think it's um, up there, paper or something that says what it is. So it's second down and about two yards to go. About the five-yard line. Yeah, there you go. Dukes Blue Devils. Week one decided with seven seconds left. Two with zero in game three. We're going to OT. This has been a fun out, fun season for us so far. Jesus, P. Raising my blood pressure. Are you kidding me? He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Uh, Miami kind of, Miami pulled away with that one. And for Miami, they've won two straight. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They run left and he'll lose yardage. That was Gotta love starting off with a negative play first try. Defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack.
incomplete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 16. Oh my gosh. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. I thought that linebacker was about to come right up that middle and blow that play up, and I was about to be like, of course they do. Good job by the, I think that was my either center or guard that came over and got that block, got its first down. From the 14 yard line, it's first down. Let's go, baby. Come on. Still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty-five. He scrambled. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee. Dude, it's it's so obviously a catch. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Yeah. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but no, it the didn't. The field stands. They were warrant no. So there was so obviously a catch. They're all over that. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Oh man. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Quick strike and he drops it. Son of a bitch. I don't know if I can keep him out of the end zone. I've trusted them before. I got to do it again. Line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. The kick is up. Damn it! No! Come on, defense! I need you.
that ever a time I needed you to be big, it's right now. Let's go! That's a great way to start it. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. What? Oh my gosh, Jacqueline wants to say, come on. Holy crap. Okay, there's no first. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Trust your defense. You have to make decisions trusting your defense. Holy crap. Trust your defense. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Woo, baby. What a game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit. What a game. Hey, they gave my quarterback player the game, but I think it's got to go to Dots Boot, man. Four for four, I think, on the game altogether. Hit one from 52, hit one from 54, hit one from 56. This man was just Mr. Clutch today, didn't miss anything. I, I really think it has to go to my kicker um, for sure. And what a game to just, like, so many decisions that I went with that could have been bad, you know, wouldn't have, wouldn't have been the best, and ultimately deciding I just need to trust my defense. I need, like, I know that we've given up big plays. I know that we have, you know, we've done so many things, and, oh, my goodness. It, it just, I just trusted them, and, and it's paid off. You know, down a point and and, and could have fourth and one easily could have gone for it, but deciding no, I need to punt it, put them in their own field position. Quarterback makes a bad throw, we pick it off, we have the ball in the red zone, then we score and take the lead big time. And then right there, taking the field goal instead of trying to score, you know, and then deciding, you know, I'm gonna trust my defense to just because knowing the CPU how it works, they will not probably will not go for it on fourth down. If I get them in any sort of fourth down situation, having a field goal lead, they'll kick the field goal and tie the game. To go into triple overtime. So just decided, you know what, kick the field goal and hope that my defense can do that. Like, let's just trust that they'll get in the fourth down and, you know, maybe this goes to, or, or, or we get the stop, you know, or turnover or something. And hey, we force him that fourth down to kick the field goal and he doesn't make it and we win the game. Yes, there you go. Just, yeah, you got to, I followed two, the rules, two of the three times. One time I didn't, there was a margin for error. 
So you just like he says, follow the rules when there's no margin for error. But yes, you can take a chance if there is a margin. Otherwise, follow the damn rules. And and what did we do? We followed the rules and we win by three. I just an unbelievable game. Duke, uh, Coach Vector has said. First game decided with seven seconds left in the game. Second game decided with no time left. And this game had to go to overtime. So Duke, all th- for three for three this year on games being decided in the very last moments, going to overtime. It's just been this kind of season for the Blue Devils. This time, finally get on the winning end. Final score, Duke 41, Florida State 38. Duke with a total of 19 first downs of Florida State's 15 Florida State edges Duke in total offense with 406. Duke with 336, 193 yards on the ground for the Florida State Seminoles, 118 for the Duke Blue Devils. Florida State running the offense looks to be very good. It was went for a 250 week one and 193 week two. Three rushing touchdowns for the Seminoles. Uh, Florida State has 213 passing yards to Duke's 218. Got them to a couple more third down situations, but and, but and kept them under that fifty percent that we liked. They went three for seven. Duke nine for 16, 56 percent on third down. No fourth down conversion on Florida or for Duke. Florida State went for it once and they got it. Two point conversion. Duke goes one for one at the end. You saw it there. Duke a perfect hundred percent in the red zone, but then Florida State got did get in the red zone three more times in the second half, and all three were touchdowns. So. Not able to stiffen up that red zone defense as much as we were hoping to continue. Um, but, hey, still at the end of the day, Duke gets the win. Big, big difference maker right here, turnovers. Florida State with two interceptions, throws two interceptions. Duke obviously goes plus two in the tur- tur- turnover differential in this game. Big for them. No punts for Florida State. They did not ever send their punter out on the field. Duke sends them out three times. Uh, and Doss Boot. Again, in my opinion, the MVP three punts at 45-yard average and, of course, his field goals. Time possession, 22-30 for Duke, 9-30 for the Florida State Seminoles. As like we say, I wanted to go to who I believe was 100% the player of the game, Das Boot, the freshman redshirt kicker, 85 overall, goes 4-4 for four on the game, longest of 56, hits one from 56, 54-52, and, of course, the chip shot, Right there in overtime, three for three and extra points. Um, so never missed a kick. He was lights. He, he had great punts, two punts inside the 20, th- four for four in field goal kicking. I mean, this guy, in my opinion, is the player of the game. They're never, they're hardly, not never, because it has happened if you have low score. They hardly ever give um, kickers player of the game. I think I would have to go with Das Boot. Uh, he obviously hit some big time field goals. The freshman redshirt, too, to hit those field goals. Uh, it was just a great game for him. That is all we have in store for you today, folks. With here, Duke Blue Devils able to edge out Florida State at home in double overtime, forty-one to thirty-eight. Hope to see you guys tonight. Yes, it's hundred percent worth the leg for the tier one spot. But again, hope to see you guys tonight for the late for the stream. It's going to go late, late, late night tonight as we'll be streaming uh, Cold War at around midnight, but we'll probably be playing some Warzone custom servers or something beforehand uh, until we get to that midnight release of Cold War. Uh, we, we, as always, League One spins on Monday, so we'll, we won't have another League One game until sometime next week, as well as One Star finally went through the uh, the offseason, so the UMass Minutemen will be coming back to the channel here soon. Uh, want, we went to... to uh, or spin into week one she'll be also this coming monday so next week you should expect to see league one game duke will be taking uh, actually duke might be off let me double check for you just to make sure i don't want to be giving you false advertisement Yeah, okay, so correction, Duke is actually off next week in week four. So there will be no Duke game next week. So next week, the only NCAA game you should expect, if UMass has a week one game, then we'll be playing uh, our season our season four of the one star. She'll start this upcoming next week. And so we'll see um, if Duke or if UMass ends up playing week one. If so, we'll have a one star game for you sometime next week. But there is no Duke game next week. Duke is off week four. 
and will come back week five on the road against the 13th ranked Clemson Tigers. Duke has only had one meeting with Clemson in the two years or as a two year uh, tenure of Coach Short now in our third season here at Duke. Uh, first year we played them, got absolutely demolished by them. We went on a revenge tour last year, beat everybody but Georgia Tech that we lost to before. Um, so Georgia Tech obviously is a big game circle for us this upcoming season, as well as Clemson being 0-1 against Clemson, the Clemson Tigers. But this now gives Duke a leg up on Florida State uh, as my as my head coach here at Duke. Or at Duke yeah, Duke. <coughs> 2-1 and one record now against Florida State. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Silent Gaming. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Signing off.